What's going on, everybody? We are back with Death Door. We are uh, getting ready to go open Death Door. Coincidentally, um, I gotta remember how to get all the way up there. Hit, hit, bird, bird. Listen to me. Oh, well, this, I don't, hmm. Is this it? Think so? Yes? Yes! Old Crow. Grey Crow, you did it. You are much stronger Reaper than I. I could have never taken down the giant souls alone. It is time. At long last, let us force this door open, fledgling, and finish our assignments. And now, to the other side. This is it? This is the place beyond? Where no life is to be seen? Uh, hello? Are you... death? I thought the tales of the original Reaper were just the mad ramblings of the Free Crows. Yeah, well, yeah, I guess that's me. So if you don't know I was real, if you didn't know I was real, that means you're not here to rescue me? Huh? I... no, I'm sorry. We're here for another purpose. In fact, you might be able to help us? Wow, rude. But alright, I mean... Well, it's a few more minutes after several centuries. So, why are you here? Actually, how do you even get here? We seek souls that have passed through death's your door. We are service-bound reapers. We require those souls to finish our tasks and restore our stature with the commission. Otherwise, we will die. Oh, awkward. If you're looking for a soul here, then you're out of luck. Any non-corporeal souls that pass through the door are absorbed into the Aether. Soul energy has to be recycled to create new life. That's why my job was so important. Not that the living didn't hate me for it. I used to go around reaping souls myself, then pick them up and take them beyond the veil. But it was so depressing. Not for the souls, they don't care, but for the living ones they left behind. I wish I could let them know dying isn't scary. It's just the cycle of life. Thing is, over the vastness of time, I got very tired of that cycle. But then one day, a strange being came to me with a proposition. This being could create portals, doors, to any place or world. They offered to outsource the collection of souls to an automated system using one of their doors. While it was open, it would draw in the souls of the dead. A lighthouse on the shores of the Aether, if you will. In return for this, they asked for the lives, their lives to be extended. Well, actually, they asked for immortality, but that's impossible. If souls stick around too long, their expiry date, expiry date then with nothing left to tie them to mortality, they decay into demonic forms. All life must end. Well, eventually. So while I kicked back several generations of these self-proclaimed lords of doors came and went, enjoying their unnaturally long lives, each one agreeing in the end to submit to the limitation of life and go willingly into the Aether. 
until one didn't. Which brings us to your current Lord of Doors. Towards the end of what should have been their lifespan, your lord betrayed our long-standing agreement. They said there had been some kind of incident, that the door had malfunctioned and needed to be remade anew. For the door to be reconstructed, it would require the touch of death to link the door to the Aether. But, after this new door was created and opened, the lord kicked me inside and sealed it shut. No way for me to escape. No way for stray souls to pass on to the Aether. No death among the living. I've been here alone ever since. But my assigned soul, it must be here. It has to be here. I tracked it to this door. It must have entered here somehow. Are you sure it hasn't seen it? You haven't seen it? Sorry, guy. If a soul comes in here without a body, it disappears into the Aether. Sooner or later, everything that begins has to end. So, there's no hope. It must still be here somewhere. No. No, 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 no. I wasted so many years searching for that soul. Decades. Centuries. I refuse to die. Uh-oh. I sense you're a little bit past your best before date. Oh. Oh no, baby. This just became a Dark Souls boss. Ow. Holy shit! Whoa! Damn it, just touching him hurts me. I thought Betty was hard. Doesn't something tells me that this is not the last boss either. Sucks. Alright, that's cool. Which sucks that he just has to touch me to hurt me. And trying to hit him with one of these is really damn hard. Okay. Especially when he lands... I've barely even touched him.
Nope, I'm dead. Shit. Oh my god, are you serious? He was static and I fucking still missed. Oh my god! I don't think their intention of those things is to even hit them, dude, because I can't land a freaking one of them. Hey, I hit him. Look at that. That went right through him. Calling crap. Okay, so the goal here is to get away from him. I don't think you want to, like, get anywhere near this boss. Like, don't let it even remotely close to you, because it is dangerous. Okay, that went through him again. Yeah, his hitbox is totally warped. What are you doing? Don't do, don't do that. Don't. Oh no. Okay. Make the progress. The cracks are starting to appear. Yet again, it's just going right through him. That should have been a hit. That should have been a hit. Okay, we're not having that. Alright, I think the, the purpose of the, the little ones are to slow me down. Yes, they are. Here comes, jumping in. Dodge. Arrow. Arrow. Damn. Ah, shit.
<laughs> oh my god. Dude, I was so focused. That was such a hard fight. And only having the four hits, you, just, you really have to, like... Whew. I can't tell you how long it's been since I felt a fresh breeze on my face or saw. Well, anything. You never appreciate something until it's gone, do you? I saw a lot of that in my job, but until your lower doors locked me up, I never thought it'd apply to me. I'm sorry about your big feathered friend back there. It's always hard for the living to let go of the dead. Even more of a rough one, having to reap him yourself. I can't, I can sort of understand that feeling. Even if it wasn't your intention, you've done me a huge favor here, Crow. But this isn't over quite yet. Because while the door has been destroyed, my power is unfortunately still trapped in its remains. Forging the door required a piece of my own soul, and I need it back before I can do my job again. That means if we want to end this cycle, someone else has to take down the Lord of Doors. Have you guessed who yet? I won't be making any more deals again, that's for sure. Head back to your office and reap your boss's soul, Crow. And remember, death is on your side. So, that was horrible. That was, uh, that was super not bueno, but you gotta do what you gotta do. And unfortunately, my friend went a bit, uh, cuckoo clocks, and I had to clock him. You know what I'm saying? No, no, I'm saying. That was a hard fight, though. Uh-oh. My fellow crows, we've arrived at a moment foretold long ago. Today, death's door has been opened, and death them's themselves has been freed once more into the world fear not for this is not the end of days but the beginning of a bright new future the forces of life and death have been unnaturally thrown into chaos for a thousand years and we crows played a hand in that we must right our wrongs we must accept our fates we must reject those who lead us into a future with no hope It is time for the Lord of Doors' reign to end, for us to return to our natural life cycle. Even as our world teeters on the edge of oblivion, souls like these, forest spirits, still manage to emerge through the cracks. Soon a new age will begin, and the world will teem with new life. For that to happen, the final hours of this foretold day must play out as ordained. The crow that freed death will have to end the Lord of Doors' reign. Hi right, guys. I'm over here. Ooh, the big door. Talk. Welcome to the Soul Vault. Would you like to increase your combat ability? I sure would. Let's increase my magic. Let's go. Oh, achievement. Big Spender. Purchase 12 stat upgrades here. What the wrong, wrong way? Oh, yes. It is, it is time to reap my boss's soul. Alright, you know, we gonna do this. I'm hoping it just takes me right to the boss fight, because that'd be pretty cool. Okay. I've been watching you. Young crow. I never really thought it would come to this, yet here we are. Each of my kind are created by the Lord preceding them and trained to take over their duties before they pass on. On the day we are created, we are told the day on which we will die. My predecessor, my creator, was a cold hearted tyrant. Obsessed with rules and order, how things had to be. The old fool never even gave me a name. Can you believe that? How would your life play out if you knew the exact day you were going to die? If every moment of your existence revolved around its ending, I had to do everything in my power to save myself. I know my actions are not entirely moral, perhaps not even justifiable, but I cannot just let myself die. I refuse to go without a fight. So, young crow, are you ready to fight for your life as I am for mine? 
Oh no. Oh gosh. Hey ho, hey ho, hey. Oh my, hey, who, oh, that's not, this is, uh, oh, you know, I thought it in the back of my head, I thought it, I was like, is this all he's got, what a weakling, I, I opened my fat mouth. Oh no, baby. Not bad, Lord of Doors. Not bad. Oh, I missed. That was awesome. Oh, I walked into that attack. Oh, no. This is going to be an extremely difficult fight. Not that. He's fleeing. Which means I'm pursuing. Alright, this isn't... isn't the worst. It's a little frustrating, but... I was kinda hoping I'd made a little bit more progress in this, that they would... Uh, Hit there. Okay, good, 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 good. A couple of free hits on him.
<gasps> Fuck. God damn it, dude. Just took an unnecessary hit, dude. That sucks. That sucks so much. I can't, I can't be taking unnecessary hits, you know what I mean? That sucks, dude. I got, I'm stuck on him. I'm literally stuck in a corner. He has me pinned in a corner. That is awesome. So he got two free hits before the game decided to let me actually, like, break free. That phase is over. Let's see what sort of new nightmare awaits me. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's go. Oof. Two hits left. Ooh, I don't like that. I don't like that, bro. Up your ass, man. Let's go. Get back here. I'm not done with you. I'm so quiet, guys. I'm, I'm like in hyper focus mode right now. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to. Oh, it healed me. That's good and bad, which means this is about to be it. Oh. Why are we here, Crow? Why do I exist? To follow in the footsteps of the lords before me? To repeat the same things over and over? To what end? What is the point? If we all have to die eventually. I suppose I will never know. Because I will never die. So all that before was for nothing? 
Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that was. So he's going to... Yep, he's going to operate all the attacks. Now. <gasps> what is this? What is that? That's not fair. I rolled right into that. Oh my. Oh, I can do something there. It's excellent. All right, cool. Get stuck underneath him and just die. Hmm. Okay. This is gonna suck. This is really gonna suck. Oh, come on. You could just start me in the fight. That'd be really cool. Oh, they curve now. I like your normal attacks. Damn it, dude. They f the fucking curve. No, no, that was bullshit, dude. No, I hit the dodge. I hit the dodge. No, no, fuck you, dude. fucking dodge when I tell you to dodge.
On you stupid, tall headed mother. Come on. Down here and fight me. Bullshit, just die. Just die. You f fucking prick. Oh my god. <sighs> Chop his head off right now. Please, forgive me. Today we mourn the passing of a being who shaped the very fabric of our world. The end of a lineage. The last lord of doors. <sighs> To some, they were a mysterious leader. To others, a dark cloud looming over the world. Driven by a desire to be greater than their creator. They will be remembered for their part in the advancement of door technology. Their ability to maintain order in a dying world. and their unwavering determination to evade death, no matter the costs. Pursuits may be have been their pursuits may have been unwise, but the will to live is deeply ingrained. Who is to say what any of us would have done given the same choices as this lord? Bow your head in remembrance, pay your last respects. Their time in this world is over. <laughs> Man, just, he was frustrating. That was a frustrating boss. What a good game, though. What a cool game. I liked everything about it. I don't think I had any real, or, yeah, I don't really have any complaints. It is a solid game. From the art to the gameplay, just I, I like all of the design. There's good music, 
the just everything about it works. Everything about this game just works very well. I like the story. It's not the craziest thing in the world, and it doesn't have to be. You know what I mean? I liked it, though. I like the premise. I like everything that was going on. And it's just good. It's a solid game. I have enjoyed it immensely. And I'm really grateful to have played it for you guys and with you guys. So I'm going to speed up the speed up everything here. I'm going to give the devs their due here. Because this is one of the first games I've played in a while where the credits was not uh, with a copyright song. But yeah, no, this was a great game. And I recommend playing it. It's a lot of fun. Nope. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, what is that? Something got left behind. Achievement! Crow Gamer! Beat the game. Sweet. And I imagine you could probably run around and like go collect like the shinies and like this is your opportunity to do that kind of stuff, but I'm not doing that. But thank you everybody for coming along on this adventure. This was a lot of fun. I enjoyed this game a lot. It was uh, very different for me. I typically don't play games like this and it was fun to play one that was difficult but not punishing. So this was a cool experience. As I said, I've, I've had a lot of fun playing it. I've had a lot of fun recording it, even though we had some technical issues with a couple episodes. It should all be hammered out by now. But I, I appreciate you all so much. Make sure to leave a like, a dislike, comment, and subscribe for more if you're not already subscribed. And as always, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope to catch you in the next video.